Hi guys, uh, in this video we will discuss about the fire or the fuel that has been injected from the bottom of the duct and how the fuel will be uh, distributed or the, how the fire will be coming up and how the turbulent flame uh, would be coming out of this uh, hollow pipe or a hollow section through which the fuel has been injected. So there is a fuel that has been injected uh, from this part. So here I am injecting CH4 that is methane gas. So when this methane gas is injected into the chamber, so once it has been ignited, how the flame will be propagating, the turbulent flame, how it will be propagated. And uh, here that is the first part of the tutorial and the next part of the tutorial is providing a slit, an opening. So exactly it is an opening that I am trying to provide. So what happens to the flame now? So if there is no slit and with slit. So this is the uh, actual representation. So you can see. So this uh, cylinder what you are saying is for only mesh purpose I have created. It has no role to play. So this is our inlet. You can see this is our inlet through which methane gas has been injected. For the first case, this is also a wall. But for the second case, I am trying to make it as a slit or a opening. So what happens to the flame now? So as I have stated here, so the flame will be distributed in this way, need to distribute it in this way in the first case. So what happens to the second case, we will just verify in the coming simulation. Right, uh, so I will just open this. So case, uh, I am directly going into the mesh, uh, I think uh, it's very easy mesh, it's a, a simple tetrahedral mesh, easily you can get. Oh, sorry, uh, hexahedral mesh, easily you can get. So after that you can go to general. And uh, the steady state process, what I am trying to do with the gravity in the minus 9.81 direction, the downward direction. Okay, uh, I'll just display the mesh for you. Okay, I'll just remove this. Edges. So, yes, uh, so this is the part. And what you can see is here. In this part the fuel has been or the methane has been injected and there is an outlet at this part okay uh, so now in general we will give minus 9.81 because phi is in the negative direction gravity and then the materials i uh, oh sorry uh, go to this species right and leave the viscosity as a default model ssd k omega and in the species model click on partially premixed combustion uh, we can go with a uh, completely non premixed combustion, but instead of that, I am just uh, going with the partially premixed combustion that is also uh, acceptable for these simulations. So, this model also will be okay with that. And we are going with the C equation approach, right? And in the chemistry, it is a chemical equilibrium, steady diffusion flame rate, and flame rate generated manifold. So, the three terms or three relations what we can take, I am taking a chemical equilibrium. So before entering into it, I just want to take uh, let you guys know about the flamelet concept. So when anything is injected from the hole, so this is the flame that has been developed and this envelope of flame will be turbulent. But this turbulent flame is a composure or it is in a combination of different laminar flamelet structures. Actually the chemical reactions will take place in this laminar flamelet structures so the chemical reactions will be take place here these structures you can draw so many structures will be there so it will be formed in these structures as it is forming right it will be completely strained so it will be strained strains out and it releases its strain by just dissipating that dissipation is nothing but this turbulent dissipation what you can see is a flame Right, but it is a com com combination of different laminar flamelets. So, the flame speed here in these flamelets is laminar. Right, so this is a figure, uh, this is a representation you can see as the fuel and this is the oxidizer, it is in, uh, uh, completely in the opposite direction that it will flow in. When they come nearer to each other, so the flame gets strained. So, you can see the flame here is okay, but as it comes nearer, so the flame will be stretched. Stretcher, nothing but it's strain. So as we strain, the strain will be released. So when you try to model with these kind of flamelets inside the turbulent flame, that model is different. 
But now what we are taking is a chemical equilibrium, so there is no flamelet concept here. When you go with a steady diffusion flamelet, yes, there is a concept of flamelet model. You can create a flamelet or even import a flamelet. In the flamelet generated manifold, so there are so many other options where you can have a diffusion or premixed flamelets and all those things can come into the actual row. Here we are not bothered about all those things in our tutorial and we are going with the adiabatic uh, flame. So adiabatic flame means that heat that is being inside the flame is not used for any other external work or any other uh, losses. It is entirely used for the conversion into flame and it is progressing. Right? It is not used for any other purpose. In the boundary you can see I am just giving the species CH4 and this is the entire fuel and nothing is along there with the methane gas so it's only methane uh, so that's the reason why the fuel fraction is 1 and in the oxidation N2 is this and O2 is this so this is general proportions what will be taken considered and I am saying that my fuel is injecting with 350 and oxidation or the air is injected with 300 kelvin this is the mole fractions what is been mentioned for fuel and oxidations so in the controls you need not remove or you need to add everything so these are excluded from equilibrium so just leave it as it is go to table and these are the uh, pdf concept what we are trying to find so in order to find the temperature density and all those stuff for each and every iteration it will be very cumbersome so that's the reason why we are trying to calculate all those prior hand with respect to, I'll just create a new window. All those things are calculated with respect to function of variance and the variable. So all those are calculated as a function of these two things: variance and the actual mean fraction or mixture fraction. Mixture fraction is nothing but the uh, here it is just only methane. So that is the reason why it is mixture fraction is nothing but methane fraction. But actually, it will be not only methane. There can be a combination of different other uh, species also, right? So it can be methane as 0.4 and uh, C2H6 or something. Other fractions can also be involved. So that will be coming to the mixture fraction. Work. Variance is nothing but uh, how it is being getting varied. So that variance also will be solved along with this. And this is a function of V and D. This function can be a temperature, the output can be a temperature, the output can be density, so any of these. So the temperature now it is a function of variance and the mixture fraction. Similarly, the density can be other function of mixture fraction and the variance. Right? So in this way we will try to generate the probability density function of our PDF tables so that if you know this mixture fraction and if you know the variance, the temperature is known. So we are not calculating the temperature actually, it is predefined, right, with respect to the variance and this point, right. At that, after having a combustion, the propagation of the temperature in the air, that again uh, energy equation will take place. But on the combustion process, what is the temperature attained? This will take care, okay. So we will have generated all the calculated the PDF table and just display the PDF table. So you can have different densities, different combination of different things and just calculate mean temperature and display. So this is the way how it will be distributed. You can just check here. So this is a mean mixture fraction, it is 1. And this is a scaled mixture fraction variance and if the variance is 0.25, then you can see the temperature here. It's zero, and if it raises, now if the mean mixture fraction is 0 0.2, the variance is 0 0.2. Then you can see different other points. So the mean temperature will be getting varied. Okay, so these are combinations of different other things. You can also check the density, how it has been getting varied. Okay, so now after that go to premix. So this is the flame speed model. It is the model for turbulent flame. It's not about the flame rate. So it's what we have already discussed. It's the turbulent flame. So this is the turbulent flame what we have discussed, right? Which is a combination of different flame rates. 
how the turbulent flame is propagating that is taken care by this Gmon model, right? And after this, the properties after you just uh, write with all those properties, these will be automatically get calculated. Do not worry, all these coefficients will be automatically get calculated. Click on OK. Now uh, you can go to your boundary conditions. Go to inlet velocity. I have given uh, the momentum or the velocity is three meters per second for fuel. And in the species, uh, so I am taking the progress variable as one and the mean mixture fraction as one. So no, uh, the mean mixture fraction is one means there is no air at all, right? It's completely filled with uh, uh, fuel. And the pressure outlet is taken as uh, zero. So mesh interface automatic is taken from that uh, display, uh, geometry and the mesh, not for it. And before that, I am just trying to act with this NOx also. So it is a thermal NOx. So different kinds of NOxes are there. I will just show it to you. Thermal NOx, if the temperatures are about 1800 Kelvin. So there is a thermal NOx of N and O, right? O plus N2. And this raises to N plus O2. These are the two types of nitrous oxide we form when the temperature is only above 1800 Kelvin. There is an NOx prompt also. Even though the temperature is lower than 1800 Kelvin, so there is every probability that it will react with uh, nitrogen to form HCN, which again oxidizes to give NO. So this is a different kind again altogether. It is NO, NOx prompt, it is called as an NOx rebound. Rebound is if there is a uh, huge uh, fuel that has been present and it is not oxidized. Right, so that extra amount of fuel again will react and it will reduce the nitrogen. This we are not least bothered. The prompt also we are not uh, going to bother here. We are trying to take only NOx thermal, which is having about 1800 Kelvin. What is the nitrous oxide formation? Right, so I'll try, I'll just take thermal NOx and I'll just apply close. Right, and after that, you try to initialize it. Click on OK and try to run calculate. So you can see on the screen, uh, so there is a temperature around uh, 1130, uh, which is not sufficient for the prompt uh, NOx emissions. But we'll just check the NOx emissions also, how exactly, how much it is. So there is 2.9 to 10 power minus 19, so it's nearly zero because the temperature is not more than that. So that's the reason why uh, the NOx emissions are zero. And uh, as there is no conductivity also, I mean, there is no solid also, so there is no temperature equation that required need to be solved, right? So uh, the PDF itself will be sufficient. Uh, if there is any conducting material, then only the equations will be solved for the temperature. So as now, uh, we will now try to make this slit as an outlet and check how exactly it will be made. This is also pressure outlet with species as 0, 0. 0 means uh, it's completely with air. Backflow fraction is air. So now we'll just go and calculate from that point how exactly it will be affected. So now you can see on the screen how the turbulent flame has been distributed due to the slit. So now there is a huge temperature uh, here. So that is due to the slit that is present nearer to the flame. That is the reason why it has a huge temperatures. And you can just check this uh, NOx also will be present now. Yes, NOx is also having a, a considerable amount now due to the temperature more than 1800 Kelvin. And uh, you can just go to premixed combustion and you can check, check, check the turbulent flame speed also. You can see the turbulent flame speed also and there is a, a slight dip 
or uh, uh, tend towards the outlet that is due to the uh, combustion and that is due to the outlet uh, which is happened at the slit right so these these are the things what we can observe due to the slit to present at the duct instead of a complete outflow opening so i hope uh, this video helped you in understanding uh, the basics of premixed combustion and the turbulent flame and the laminar flame lids and the remaining uh, stuff so please do subscribe the video and uh, share it among your friends group and if you have any queries you can contact me through the uh, email id which is shared within the description thank you